It's no secret that there are a lot of white cruise ships around. The stereotypical image of a cruise ship is a pure white block. True, most today are branching out and adding in a variety of colours. If you look at this Aida ship, for example, with her characteristic coloured eye and bright smile. Check out this Disney ship as well, she's got a coloured hull, but actually her superstructure is predominantly white. It isn't a feature that's unique to cruise ships either. Super yachts do follow a similar pattern. A lot are white, and even those with distinctive colours do still have white superstructures. Even when you shrink the size down to regular yachts, white is by far the most dominant colour. Compare that to cargo ships, however, which actually do come in a vast array of different colours. White is actually quite a rare colour to find on cargo vessels. Just search online for cargo ship, and a whole rainbow of different colours will appear. So, now we've identified this slightly strange pattern, it's time to ask ourselves, why? The answer, it seems, like most things in this industry, comes down to cost. Albeit, in this case, the cost is actually indirect. The reason most vessels are white is to reflect light and heat, which indirectly reduces operating costs by reducing the need for running expensive cooling systems. To see why this works, let's think about what colours actually are. I'm sure you all remember the prism experiment from school. A prism splits a beam of light into its constituent parts. To be slightly more precise, it refracts different wavelengths by different amounts. At one end, you get red light with a wavelength of around 700 nanometers, and at the other end you get blue or violet light with a wavelength around 400 nanometers. Of course, there are colors or wavelengths outside of this range, but they're not visible to us directly, so we don't need to consider them here and now. When we look at an object, what we're actually seeing is the light reflected by that object. If the object looks coloured, it's because the pigment of that object is reflecting a specific wavelength. So, this red object reflects light with a wavelength of around 700 nanometers. Shine a red light on this red object and it will appear red, but shine a blue light on the object and it won't reflect the blue light, so it will appear black. It will absorb the blue wavelength. Shine a white light on the object, however, and it will appear red. Remember, the prism showed us that white light is made up of a combination of all wavelengths. The red object still reflects the red wavelengths like it did before, and it's absorbing all the other wavelengths, just like it did with the blue light on its own. If we swap the red object out for a black object, now no wavelengths are reflected. All of the light is absorbed by the black pigment. If we then change it to a white object, all wavelengths are reflected, and the object appears white. So, going back to our cruise ships, we now know that they're reflecting every wavelength of the light that hits them, so that they appear white. But how does that actually affect their heat? Well, visible light is just one small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves transmit energy. If I tell you that another part of the electromagnetic spectrum is microwaves, you'll immediately associate that with heating up food. As electromagnetic waves transmit energy, or heat, reflecting those waves is reflecting energy, or heat, away. White ships reflect the maximum amount of heat away as they can. If a ship was red, it would only reflect a tiny fraction of that energy away, and it would absorb the rest, heating up the ship. Suddenly, it makes sense that cruise ships are white. It reduces their fuel costs by reducing the load on the air conditioning systems. This is particularly important on cruise ships, as they usually operate in warm climates. Likewise, yachts and personal boats are for pleasure. The white colour keeps them as cool as possible. Out on the ocean, the light is intense both directly from the sun and reflected from the water's surface. You want to reflect as much away as you can. Cargo ships, on the other hand, are not so bothered about their temperature, so are far more free to choose different colours. Notice though, this particular cargo ship is white. She's actually a reefer, or refrigerated cargo vessel. The colour white is actually a bit of a giveaway for identifying these ships. Chances are, any white ship that you see is white because she wants to keep herself cool. The reason some passenger ships are not white is purely historic. Cunard liners and Holland-American line ships 
are coloured because of their heritage. They were born in the age of liners, running across the North Atlantic. For them, temperature was not a concern. If you are on one of them today, just be aware that their air conditioning costs will probably be somewhat higher, and that is simply down to the history of their colours.